How's it going everybody? So we're starting this video off strong with a round fender wheel horse lawn ranger. Um, I've been looking for another one of these uh, for a little while now. I have one that is in pretty poor shape, but it has the battery box and I don't want to modify that one because that's the only battery box lawn ranger I have. So bought this one. I'm going to switch all of the good body panels over to the other frame, all the crappy ones onto this, and I have a really cool project plan with it, but you guys are going to have to wait and see that later. All right, we got round two coming in. So we got this Troy built pony, unfortunately, junk engine, good parts machine. Um, nothing much to say about that. Then we got another LX176, just like the one I just finished up. Um, this thing is in pretty decent shape. No hood, obviously, as you can see, uh, but that's, <laughs> that doesn't really mean anything because 99% of the time these hoods are garbage. Supposedly it's going to run, so we'll see about that. I wanted, I have a couple people looking for some really cheap mowers that are just, you know, turnkey, ready to go, hydrostatic. This is going to be their best bet, pretty much. I'm going to go ahead and put a Sabre or Scott's hood on it, paint it green, and it should be a great mower for them. Also got some free roadside treasures here with a Echo blower, which I already have like four of, but another one's never going to hurt. Got this Ryobi uh, backpack blower. Not too bad. And we got this Echo uh, weed whacker, which, as you can see, um, I just used. I just weed whacked part of my yard with it. Not sure why they were giving it away, but um, hey, you know what? It's in like brand new condition. It runs real nice. We'll go ahead, clean this thing up, and just get it listed for a fair price and uh, go from there. But uh, yeah, so that's probably going to be it for today. I'm not planning on going anywhere else, but hey, you know what? You never know. All right. Well, we got another one last night. Another X300. Seems to be the only X series I can find and buy. <laughs> so. Um, this was kind of a last minute decision here to grab this thing. Um, it was up for sale over the weekend. They wanted way too much for it. They, they were asking like clean running price for a machine that doesn't run and it's in this shape. Um, so I, it, it sat on Marketplace for a couple days and long story short, I messaged her. I asked what the best they take on it. She gave me a price, but I had to go there last night. So I rushed down and unfortunately it wasn't quite as described, which is fine. Not everybody knows about these machines. But she said that it would run with a jump. It does not run with a jump. I think the starter's bad on this one, just like the other one I have. Not sure what's up with that. Not sure why the starters are bad in these, but this thing originally came from my local John Deere dealer, the one I went to when I was a little kid. Um, so that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of it. Um, we're going to pull it apart and see if we can get it to run. It's a uh, nice little unit. All right, well, we got another one in here, 875. Uh, this is for a personal, this is a personal collection tractor. I'm trying to get all of the 65 model year tractors. And this one actually runs, drives, and mows, which is nice. Um, I might actually keep this thing as my mowing tractor because I do need one. Um, and, you know, I've been using the ones that I've been selling. But, you know, once I sell it, I don't have it anymore. So whatever. But, um, yeah, so I, I just want to let you guys know something. Um you're gonna probably see this video it's it's like june 9th today i think you're probably not gonna see this video for a while and i'm gonna post a really long video of um just kind of everything and uh yeah i'm just rambling so all right well don't mind the one strap it did have three straps on it uh sorry four straps on it when i drove home with it yesterday i just needed the other two for my other trailer anyway here she is 642b um, it's the four cylinder Mitsubishi gas engine, which kind of sucks, but not the end of the world. Um, this thing's, it thing, it's in great shape. Um, pretty much brand new bucket, brand new tires as of last year. Um, I mean, she's been sitting since last night. You can see a couple of little drips, but nothing that's anything new. All right. We got another loader in. I got tons of people always asking me for loaders. So I figured cheap one pops up. I always buy it. I don't know what model Bolins this is. I do have the hood for it, but it's all painted, so it doesn't say the model number. Um, I honestly don't know exactly what this loader is. I can't tell if it's a Johnson. I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to do more research on it, but I, off the top of my head, I can't remember any loaders that are set up like this. Um, I don't know what the plans are with it. I do know that this motor is going to go into my 520-8, and I'm going to be putting my Quickway loader on that. Um, but I'm kind of planning on maybe putting this loader on one of my short frame wheel horses and just keeping it for myself. I don't know. I haven't totally decided yet. It's definitely not meant for this tractor. It's custom put on here, but we'll have to see. But yeah, just another one coming in. 
All right, so we got another one, LT160. Um, literally jumped up out of bed and ran and grabbed this thing. Um, it actually looks like it's pretty clean. It's dirty, but it doesn't look all rusty and rotted. I think the deck's going to clean up nice. The guy said he was mowing with it, and it died, and he didn't feel like fixing it. I don't see any fuel in the tank, so I'm going to go with maybe that. Um, we'll hope and pray. It's got like 560 hours on it, something like that. I mean, the seat's in good shape. The whole tractor's in good shape. Two front new, two new front tires, one new rear tire, um, and supposedly it was recently serviced, so we will have to see. But, I mean, overall, not in bad shape. Hood's in pretty decent shape, actually, surprisingly enough. But, um, yeah, bagger, 42-inch mower deck, all that good stuff. Not going to work on it today, I don't think. It's supposed to start raining here soon. Um, so, yeah, but we'll work on it at some point. All right, something else. Not quite a tractor, but pretty cool nonetheless. Um, so, some of you guys probably know, I do a little, I'm working on a little garden tractor slash uh, lawn and garden museum. And I've been trying to collect as many of the John Deere pieces as I can. That's kind of my newest thing. Um, I picked this up yesterday, pretty much right up the road for me. 100 bucks, couldn't really complain about it. This thing looks like it's been used maybe five times. The chains aren't all rusty like they always are. Look at that. I mean, it's, it's, it's just super clean. It's barely ever been used. And um, I think the paint is going to clean up beautiful as well underneath that. So that's awesome. Very excited. Very excited about this whole thing. And then we'll go ahead and put this up on the, uh, on the, uh, the rack there in the basement. And uh, one step closer to our... Uh, Goal of having one of every uh, piece of lawn and garden equipment that John Deere, or at least one example of all the different uh, pieces they made. All right, well, we got three more coming in today. I was only going for the LT133 in the back here, but uh, ended up coming home with three, so let's take a quick look at them. But yep, whenever I get a, a opportunity to get a LT series, even parts machine, I always jump at that. Um, just a lot of good parts to have. I go through so many of these nowadays, it's just always nice to have extra engine parts and front axles and tie rods and fuel tanks, pretty much everything. So this one, I think the engine seized. Of course, it ran when it was parked, but it's seized now. So hell, maybe I'll even try and pop that uh, engine cover off there, see if it's a mouse nest, see if we can get it to free up. We'll see. I think this is an STX 38, uh, missing quite a bit, but we do have an engine that spins. And it is missing the dipstick on this side, and it is missing the carb on this side. So I'm not going to be selling this as like a good runner or a good unit that could be fixed. It might be able to be fixed, but I just don't feel comfortable uh, selling it like that. So this one's just going to get parted out as well. A lot of good parts on here. People want all these parts for, you know, various reasons. Got a good fuel tank on here as well. Nice steering wheel. I might pull this off and put it in my collection because it is actually in pretty good shape. Uh, but other than that, it's probably just going to end up getting scrapped. This one right here, liquid cooled, a uh, LX2 something, I think. I don't know if it'll say it on the back. I have the remnants of the hood pretty much all destroyed. It's an LX series. Did get some nice yellow hubcaps. Those are beginning. Those are going to be going in my collection. But this is the liquid cooled one. Um, it actually cranks over really well. Looks like it's got a pretty new battery into it. Yeah, like a brand new battery, 624. So that's awesome. Uh, not quite put on there the way I would have done it. But that's all right. <laughs> so it uh, looks like new spark plugs and stuff. I guess it has water in the fuel, they said. So we'll dive into that and see what we can figure out. But, um, oh, it has a key tag too. Oh, nice. That's my uh, old local uh, dealership that used to be right up the road from me. Cool. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of it. That's just what we have right here. LX279. LX279. So this one's going to obviously get fixed. I'm going to resell this one once it's running and operating. And I'll take my souvenirs from it because I'm going to take the uh, hubcaps off. It's missing one. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of it with that. I don't remember if I did a video on these before I left for the wheel horse show. But I picked these two up. had a gentleman reach out tell me he had a couple of uh, good old barn finds. I guess they had been sitting in his dad's barn for a while. His dad passed away, unfortunately. And uh, they were ready to get rid of these. So... I went, got them for a pretty good deal. This one, I think I'm gonna fix up, run, get it running, driving, do all that good stuff, get it ready to mow, sell it. And then this one, the deck is bad, I believe, but we got a good Briggs motor. And this is the style Briggs everybody's always looking for. Um, looks like it has a little bit of a leak in the front there, but um, all in all, not too bad. Uh, so this, I'm at least get, this motor has good compression and everything. I think this motor is gonna end up in a, um, John Deere, one of the John Deere's I have, but 
there you go all right well we got another one uh nothing special just a scott's it's pretty much just a john deere la but in orange and gray paint scheme um just popped up on marketplace about 20 minutes from me this morning so i had to run and grab it and uh yeah nothing too special but there's another one Alrighty, well really quick here before i run out three more tractors on the trailer today get this awesome little tiller here for an x-series machine which is awesome this is probably gonna end up getting sold uh separately than the nice x-series we have here that has a nice flat tire i just noticed um but that's a pretty good grab very excited five x540 multi-terrain you know pretty cool um it's got the upgraded like uh, gator style rear tires which is pretty awesome it runs and drives it needs some love it's been sitting for a while but i'm really excited about it this one's going to be a hard one for me to sell because i've really always wanted an x series an x500 or 700 series so you know, we'll see what happens i did a delivery yesterday of another machine and this tractor just so happened to be the guy's old machine and he just needed to replace the belt on it i think and he just didn't and uh i got it for really cheap so i can't complain about that one bit and uh, i mean it runs and drives it's like a brand new tire on the front i'm just gonna have to put a new belt on it and it should be good to go and last but not least we also have this lt 150. this machine's actually in really good shape i was pretty surprised got it from a uh, buddy of mine's family they just uh clean out their yard they didn't want it so yeah that's uh that's kind of it for this load all right and here's another one la 135 special edition no clue what the special edition means but uh maybe it's the special rotted mower deck edition check this out guys <laughs> there's like nothing left of it it's, it's really impressive but the tractor looks to be in really good shape the engine spins over with good compression and i got the full bagging system with it so i mean i can't complain i, had, I did get it for free so can't really complain there but that's just incredible i've never seen a mower deck rot like that all right well sorry about the noise in the back just warming a tractor up take some pictures of it but uh la 105 just picked this thing up beautiful condition really 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 nice shaped tractor uh runs drives mows it's got a couple little things that i gotta figure out on it but i do have the complete bagger for it and it's got like 300 hours on it so this thing's pretty nice very excited about it all right well we got two more la 145 this one runs and drives drove right up onto the trailer here only problem with this thing is that it's an electric pto tractor and i currently don't have any electric pto mower decks except for one that's rusty so i might end up fixing that one up i haven't totally decided yet but uh la 145 runs drives good it's got the typical powder coat peel it's filthy from sitting out in the woods but the seat looks like it's all in one piece minus one little tear up on the top there uh, but other than that it looks like it's in pretty good shape if you're wondering this is that free la 135 that i got that i am currently fixing up and i brought it to the car wash and i brought it to get the opinion of someone else on a problem that i was having with it and we got it figured out so that's good and then back here craftsman lt 1000 something like that uh, i picked this up i got a buddy um actually a buddy who's doing all the rewiring on this trailer and he's super big into craftsmen so i ended up picking this thing up and uh, this is going to go his way. I'm not a craftsman guy, but he is for whatever reason. So that's where that's going to go. But uh, yeah, so yeah, there we go. All right, we got two more. So LT150. This thing actually has a full bagging system. Got this from a good buddy of mine. I think he found it on the side of the road. It actually starts and runs, um, but immediately revs to uh, the moon. And um, I don't know what's up with that. Probably a governor issue. So we'll have to dig into that here soon. Um, but uh it's actually not in terrible shape even if i had to swap a uh, new motor into it this thing's pretty nice and then this is a personal collection machine if you guys couldn't already tell this is a wheel horse 855 um originally i was thinking about putting uh round fenders on it like a 1045 but yeah, i figured i have enough enough of those for right now so this thing's pretty neat already came with a predator really hard to pass up a predator powered short frame wheel horse for me um so i you know, it's on the side of the road i grabbed it um, has some really nice rear tires nice jacobson j weights i don't know what those are going for these days but i'll have to i'll have to ask around and it's like the perfect patina i love that look probably end up going through it with a um like brillo pad going over it all and then boiled linseed oil coating it and then likely i'll end up putting a custom muffler on there and probably just uh using it probably take the uh, blade off of it for now but yeah not nothing nothing too crazy but i always love grabbing these all right, well, I think this is going to be the last segment of this video. It's been uh, two months in the making, pretty much. I haven't really gotten a ton of stuff in lately. But um, C81 wheel horse, obviously got a plow on it, eight-speed tractor. I do have wheel weights with this thing. 
another set of uh, strike wheels i guess they just put these on all the c81s for at least a year but nothing special just a uh just a wheel horse c81 and then right here we got a john deere d100 supposedly this one runs and drives it's gonna need a little bit of love it's certainly nothing perfect but it's only got like 150 hours on it clearly it was just uh left sitting outside but um yeah overall that's a nice machine right there and then back here we have an lt 155 i believe i do have the hood for it i do have obviously the deck for it um this one supposedly doesn't have spark um so we'll see about that it's obviously just a kohler command engine so i got plenty of those parted out so likely this will be one that i i flip and resell uh running along with this one he said it's a, got a fuel issue and as you can see the fuel line's just kind of hanging out there so i wouldn't think it's going to be pumping any fuel but yeah there you go all right, well, apparently I lied in the last clip there. Uh, right after I was done filming that last section, a buddy of mine who kind of just keeps his eyes out on Marketplace for mowers for me uh, sent me this one. And uh, just from the quick glance, I, I took at the pictures. I thought it was an LA. Get there, it's an LT, LT-155. Um, it actually runs and drives. Drove right onto my trail. The headlights even work. Um, and it's, a, it's good because I needed another LT series to sell pretty quick. And I actually needed an LA hood um, for another project that I'm working on. This thing has a weird 42 inch, I think it's 42 inch, like mulching deck. I've never seen one of those before. Um, but I mean, other than that, it's actually in pretty good shape. I got a hood for it down back. Um, it obviously is going to need a good bath and probably a, a good waxing and just going through it all. Do a good service on it. But yeah, there's another one. So hopefully this is the last one for this video. But you know what? I'm probably wrong. Well, apparently I lied again. This popped up last night on Marketplace and uh, just went and grabbed it today. It's got the full bagging system, just an L110 John Deere, nothing special. I don't know where that key went. I hopefully have that key because it had a cool key tag on it. I probably don't, but yeah, nothing too special. Um, and I still got to unload this, but I think that's going to be it for, uh, for this video, hopefully at least. Um, so yeah, there you go. Well, I uh, seem to keep lying to you guys. I seem to keep getting more in. Um, well, this just popped up in the marketplace. I went to go do a delivery, and I grabbed this on the way home. It's got two good front tires and a really nice seat that I need for another machine. Though, this thing actually does run and drive. And uh, we did get a mower deck with it, which is that one right there. Got an L, LA, and D-Series deck, which I've been looking for. Or at least the shell of it. I don't know if the spins are any good. And then this one, which is kind of a mystery. I don't know what that goes to. I got it for free, so I can't really complain. But, um, yeah, so I think that's finally it. I'm supposed to be leaving for a trip tomorrow, so I don't think I'm going to be buying anything else. And then within the next couple of days, it's the end of the month. So, yeah, there you go.